Brad Coleman is just leaving pit road after repairs to the 18 car from one of the most bizarre things we've probably seen in a little while at a road course. It's very bizarre. Watch this. He tries to overtake the 16 at Kyle Braun. That gets a rear bumper bar jammed in his brake rotor and his left front tire locks it up. That's the first time I've ever seen that. Looks like he's got a spear stuck in that thing. And now look at this. Left front tire completely locked up because of the bar. Has to drag the thing all the way back to pit road. Unbelievable. Well, let's go back and look at that restart. First of all, watch the 33 in the 07 and see how Pappas came back on the track in the middle of this thing. Well, Max does a great job right here. He kind of anticipates his start, gets a little advantage getting into the first turn. Robbie kind of just kind of Whoa. gets loose, forces him off the track. The first three cars through the grass. Oh, my goodness. What a mess. Yeah. Boris gets going. Kozlowski was the real loser in that, and the contact was Villeneuve into Jason Leffler. The teammates, aren't they? Watch this. Well, Bain into Villeneuve first, and then Villeneuve into Leffler. Okay. Well, they're all Toyotas, at least. <laughs> wow. Clunk, bang, you see right fenders. Here. Oh, oh, man, wow. Bain gets hammered. Look at Kligerman right here. Oh, oh man. man. And Brad yeah, Coleman. so did Coleman. Man, they both hit the wall there. Yep. That's concrete. It doesn't give. No. <laughs> but neither does Villeneuve. Eighty <laughs> flat turn. This is not 38. funny. I know it's not I'm funny, telling, but I'm yeah. telling you what, there is no sheet metal left out there. They better be happy. This is the last race for last race for these cars. Looks like Gonzalez is gonna get the lead. Same corner, just a different cast of characters. And watch back on the break. Villeneuve got clear of Ambrose so far. Ambrose is going three wide, top of the screen. In the dirt. Oh, oh look out. Oh, look out. Oh, what a save. It's an aggressive move that early. I mean, this guy wants to win this thing bad. Ambrose does. Man, I thought it was all over right there for him. He's got a ton of smoke coming out of that car. I was going to say he just went a lap down, Michael, but maybe some. Uh, yeah, he's got bigger problems. Yeah. Uh oh, there you oh, go. Oh, man, that, that might bring a And that will bring a caution yep. out. That's yes, going to be what? something everybody's looking there for. There is a full course caution, which probably takes the fuel out of the equation. At least for a couple guys. I'm not sure it does for, for Robbie Gordon. I don't know if we've got enough laps left for him to save enough fuel. But it also takes the lead. Oh. And evaporates it. It does. And Villeneuve has been, fa has been fast. Yeah. Well, whatever it was that was causing that smoke on the right front, when he tried to make the right-hand turn out of this corner, didn't like it. Okay, right. He ain't oh, yeah. see this goes for right front tires flat. See the sparks. That's two. We need to go to the garage. What is this? Uh-oh, Carl's got a pro uh, He's got a track oh. bar broken, guys. Unbelievable. Yep. The leader has broke a rear track bar. I'm telling you, this track is really hard on cars. With he all these is oh, wow. out of this race. Wow. A lot of wow, problems wow. today. That's Bobby Gordon and Jacques Bellinu, Max Pappas, these guys are sitting in position now to win this thing. Now, what, what's uh, Gordon going to do if he's if he's uh, low on fuel? Turn the motor off. <laughs> There's 13 cars on the lead. That's what it looks like on man. the big screen. I don't know if you can see it, but that's what it looks like on the TV here. Oh, inside for second. Villeneuve. Can he stay there? No, Pappas gets back by. Now Pappas has to try and chase Boris Sed back down. And that's just what Boris Sed needed. Let those guys race, let him get out of Dodge. And he pulls about 10 car lengths on him. Turn eight and turn nine. There's Robbie Gordon's car. As the driver walks away. Boris has got a good turn 10, Andy. Yeah, he did a good job getting down in there. I was wondering if he was going to be able to get in there without wheel hopping. That's the key right there. I believe he's, he can hold him off through these next two corners. Remember, it was the last corner of the last lap last year. One little mistake that cost Marcus Ambrose right the win and allowed Carl Edwards to go here by. Go. Here's Pappas inside of Boris. He got him. Boris going to try the crossover. Clear, clear. Pappas over the curves. Here comes Boris. Said, drag racing to the finish line, side by side. Who's going to get here first? It is, I think, Boris. Boris said. I think he got him by a bumper. Unreal. Boris 
said wins by a bumper. You're exactly right. Total finish there. Wow. Welcome back here to the NASCAR Nationwide Series at Bristol. Make sure to go to NASCAR.com for all your latest NASCAR information. Also want to tell you about what's coming up on the motorsports. Oh, no, we got a crash. Brian Scott. Oh, and the 16 is also oh. involved. It's Colin Brown. And now the fire is the 66 of Stephen Wallace. Just that quickly. That. John West Townley has turned it around. The 61 also involved of Josh Wise. And it uh, looks like 21's day might be around, over. Go. Oh, bud. In. Yeah, I don't think that baby's going to move. Townley was running 20th at the time of the crash. There you can see what's the damage on the back end of Josh Wise's 61. And his fourth. That's the second car for uh, the 21. They, they tore one up in practice as well. You say you can't, like I said, yeah. Marty can't get going. Here, let's take a look to show you what happened. Oops. Oh, man. He got man. plowed by the 35 of Jason Keller. Makes you wonder what, what happened before this. We had mentioned Townley had a career best finish back at Las Vegas at 15th. Let's see. See, the 61 involved. and the 34 yeah. happened behind this as they tried yeah. to slow down. Caution has waved. Greg Biffle had taken the lead. Kyle Busch second. Kurt Busch third. Jeff Gordon had fallen to fourth on that restart. So Gordon ties the record for consecutive laps led from the start of the race. And uh, this one is a little different. They dropped the green flag or waved the green flag to restart the race. However, the drivers are controlled these days as much by the green and yellow flag as by the caution lights all the way around the racetrack. And we're told the caution lights failed to extinguish when the track went green. Only guy that like that is the guy that was next in line for the free pass. But he's he's definitely getting better. He, he's actually on the lead lap, Mike. Yes. But when that caution came out on lap 45, we were watching him. He was just about to go a lap down. So I think these cautions, they've possibly been his best friend, Matt. The lights are on, but I didn't hear him say caution. They're not waving them. Absolutely. Yeah, something, going, something going on. There the caution go. lights came on without being triggered by NASCAR. So now the call has come down from the uh, tower to wave the caution flag. See, drivers only see the flag when they're on the front straightaway, but the caution lights are all the way around the racetrack, and NASCAR has told the drivers in the drivers' meetings every week that the caution lights control. You see the caution lights slow down, and so we don't know what is triggering uh, the light or what caused it to not go off during an earlier restart. Keselowski, he's pretty good, but Harvick's catching him. He's got to make some adjustments. Wow, we've got traction on the track right now, and that is Jason Keller. Oh. Wow, someone, I, I'm guessing someone rolled over the l right rear of that car. Yeah, that's what it looks like. No, he it's not. It's the brakes, the brakes, the brakes. I didn't think it was the tires, the brakes. Hey, it blew the whole right side off, Brian. A wow. rotor? Can you imagine exploding rotor doing that? No. You see the brakes, Ricky. It looks like there's fire coming out of them, and the tire is shredded, the top of it. Wow. And well, we talked earlier about what happens when the tire comes off. Take it to the grudge. Take it to the grudge. Uh, we, right? Well, well they, the they get compacted. I mean, this is a tough one here. You see Denabeto, he's he spun a little while ago, didn't spin out totally, but tore the back of that car all up, and we're still green. Oh, and now the teammates. two teammates together. Oh. Brad Coleman and Matt DiBenedetto have gotten together in turn three. They have taken each other out Actually, accidentally. Turn two, Rusty. That's where that happened. And you sort of felt like that wasn't over. Oh, what wow. started over? Look oh, at the damage. damage. Oh, that hurt bad. They got the 20 up high. Come on, hard low. Come oh. on, come on, low. Yeah. Oh. And that last turn that Matt made was such a hard left that Brad just didn't have anywhere to go. Just an unusual set of circumstances. The cars were in the same place at, at that time. But the 18 car was damaged, and he lost a lot of downforce because the rear of the car was, was, was caved in. And Brad going over to make sure his teammate is all right and talk about it. And he looks a little stiff right now. That was a big hit. That was a big hit. Keselowski fights back on the inside. Uh, whatever happens now, this race oh, is oh. touch. Keselowski 
gets into Edwards. They save it. Drag race down the backstretch now. That's that half car length I was talking about. They both survived it. Let's see what happens in turn three. Reed Sorensen waiting in the wings. Here's Keslowski on the inside. Carl Edwards, can he make it stick on the outside? Brad thought he had the best car all night. Took the inside line on the restart. This is going to be down to the wire. Oh, oh. they touch. He spun out. Carl gets into Keslowski. Oh, Carl Edwards gosh. will win. Oh, flag. Oh, oh, man. You are the man. He deserves it. Good job. Oh, that God, is a I just hope Keslowski's awesome. okay here. That was a hard hit, guys. That was ugly. Direct behind you. Just that slow was it down. Ugly. Slow it down. There's a big wreck here. Big contact on Keslowski as the other cars racing to the finish came to the line. And Keslowski got spun around hard. We got to ask you what happened with you and Brad on that last lap, though. I just couldn't let him take the win from me. My guys worked way too hard for, uh, for that. We had a great restart. My guys, um, my guys built me a great car. And we came to the checkered flag, and I hate to see stuff tore up, but, um, but we came here to win. And he took it from us there in turn one. And uh, just an awesome race. I can't thank Copart.com enough, Fast and all, and Aflac. Aflac's always got me under their wing. And I just uh, just really appreciate their support. So, And thanks to the fans. Thanks for coming out here and, and uh, braving the, the hot weather. And, um, you know, I, I'm sure some of them don't like that win, uh, Brad Keselowski fans and, and stuff. But, man, I just couldn't let them take it from me. I had to do what I had to do. What was your view on what happened on the final lap? Brad got into Carl, getting out on turn one, race him. They bumped, they rubbed, typical rub and racing deal. Carl went, flipped out like he did at Atlanta and tried to kill the kid. I'm sick and tired of this. I'll get my own damn uniform back out and take care of this. <laughs> he ain't going to kill my boy. He, he just overreacted so bad. If he wanted to bump Brad, it's one thing, but don't drive him through the inside guardrail. Don't put him in a grandstands in Atlanta. That's asinine. And the 70 of Shelby Howard trying to follow as well. Look out, they got trouble. That, uh, that might be a product of the earlier incident. Yeah, first incident. that could be a payback. And oh man, fire in the number one of James Busher. Don't fire, buddy. They have got the they window net down and he oh. is climbing out. Y'all good, jump on out, jump on out. Busher is out. And you mentioned it. It goes back to earlier uh, when Busher got into the 38 and put him into the wall. Yeah, but we got some slower cars in front of faster cars, and you know what usually that can mean. Look at Wimmer trying to jump away, but look at this pack in the middle here. Oh, they're four wide. That's this not going to work. work. It's not going to work. This is congestion oh, here. Oh, hang no, on. This can't work, guys. There it is. There's the contact. Stephen Wallace into the a wall. Big wreck behind it. Big wreck behind it. Can you believe it? 16, Colin Brown also in. Stenhouse crashes, now Brown gets swept up. Look at the mess here. You got the 81 of Michael McDowell, the 35 of Jason Keller. Oh my, Mikey Kyle in the uh, 10, his first start, and Stephen Wallace. Yeah, there was no reason for us to be, you know, in that position right there on that restart. Just, uh, you know, guys driving without respect on restarts, and, uh, you know, I was five or six cars clear of the, of the 24 going into 11, and for some reason he just turned me around. So it's all right. Uh, what comes around goes around. These guys don't want to have any respect for me. I ain't going to have none for them, and uh, I get him at Loudon. You, you have not had any problems with Jeff before? <laughs> not since my rookie year. But, uh, you know, it just comes down to, you know, all the, every week we have these double file restarts, and everybody's – everybody's head just gets all r ridiculous and uh, you know everybody loses their head and drives l like idiots I mean it just doesn't make any sense everything's fine until we have restarts and then it's like guys run a tenth are gonna win the race you know so it's just stupid it's uncalled for uh, you know the unfortunate part is is you know all the guys on my on my team work so hard and uh, you know we had an awesome car sitting there running in the top five all day long and uh, just hate for napping everybody everybody involved we uh, we were looking at having a really good day here and having a lot of fun, and uh, it just got real by one stupid move. Jeff did apologize. Did that message get to you? No, but does it matter? Yeah. You know, we're sitting here on the trailer, and he's out there going to run for the win, so it's all right. We'll get him. Bad news situation in Sonoma, California. The good news for Jimmy Johnson, who Holy leads the bad mackerel. news for Denny Hamlin. That's some driving right there. <laughs> Self-clear by 10. He's got to be driving I know. out the, the, the driver. Bring it off window. Yeah, yeah, okay. Here's what happens here. And, and, and we'll, we'll look. Obviously, 
when he came down pit road, he's doing, uh, I, I can't believe he's keeping this thing on, on, on the racetrack it's right incredible. now. Okay. Maybe his spotter's talking him around, but he's doing a great <laughs> job. And he's still carrying some speed, man. But let's go back to the pit stop here. If you see the pit stop, he comes down pit road, and if we, and, and we, when, when the NASCAR official reaches up under that, I want you to see the NASCAR official when he walks over to the grill, but, or to the hood. He'll walk over and he'll flop it. Watch how much it moves up and down, up and down when he walks over and, and, he, and he grabs the, the hood. They go to the other side, the NASCAR official's right here. He'll walk in. You see him push it down. Watch him lift it up. Look how much that moved up and down. Play. It got so much air up under it that it sheared those hood pins. There's nothing he could do about it. The official checked it. It was right. But you carry so much speed around this place that this is what happens because you couldn't fix it under green. Now they've got to come back in under green. Hood's wiped out. They can't get the hinges down. Look at them shearing them. They've got, the, they've got bolt cutters cutting the hood, the hood hinges right here just to get it to drop back down. For NASCAR's road race today, here at Infineon Raceway, how many turns are there? 11. You say that with no hesitation. Why? Unless you... 11, is that the answer? What's yeah. the answer? It is 11. 11. 11. It's a 11. Oh, there it is. There it is. 12 if you win, because you get to turn one more time in the victory lane. Oh, boy. <laughs> Will you slap him? Give me put the well, answer. Good. It doesn't help. <laughs> Trust me. Oh, I think he might be a little bit more aggressive in this situation. Only yeah. because I think I think the 40. Uh oh. What's going Ambrose on here? Just Ambrose stopped, stopped on the track. Yeah. Um, unless he's lost lost a gear. This is going to be interesting. Well, Chad Knauss is the NASCAR official here talking about what what they can do. And it looks like he just got a gift. He just said, Chad Knauss said, you just got the gift for the day. That's it. It looks like Marcus was not allowed to go back to his spot. Yeah. So that is absolutely huge. That is very big, but that is the rule. That's the rule. We, we got into that a couple of years ago at a couple of guys trying to get to the end of the race, starting and stopping, who beat who back to the line, who was this, and that's the rule. Marco started around the corner. Marcus started around the corner here, and when he did, the car was cut off. When he coasted up there, it would not fire. He had to pull over. They went around him. He lost positions. You have to maintain speed. That's in the rule book. Right to the right. I, it's really strange. I mean, it's almost like his throttle hung. I, it's just, I've never seen anything like this. Yeah, he's, this is not a... Something was definitely wrong there. I'm not sure what it was, but I just, you know, he came flying on the inside like he couldn't stop. It in there pretty good. Yellow flag. Caution's out. Caution's out. Spinner and hard hit in turn three. It's 48 car. And AJ Allmendinger, Jimmy Johnson, and AJ hard up into the wall in three. Boy, look at that thing. Now the caution had already come out when that happened, and, and look that, at that 48 thing. is junk. I have never seen a 48 car torn up quite like that. Just looking at this, it might be a situation that the 27 spun and then was hit in, in the rear. Yeah, that's what it looks like. All right there, you can see just yeah. catches Chapman up there. He's trying to avoid this spin. It looked like the 27 maybe hung the left front down on the apron, caused it to get loose and shot up in front of Johnny Chapman. That flash fire went out as they stop here. Mm. Pretty significant fire. Wow. Yeah, that was kind of right there, pushing it in her window. Yeah. White flag at Daytona. Stenhouse in the mix in the six car. If those front two get side by side, that could open the door for Stenhouse in that six. He's had a great run all night. Kyle Busch still bottled up back in traffic. He's 11th. It's like Logano might be waiting till turn four. He's getting a run right now. Stenhouse pushing, pushing. Here goes Keselowski. Got a wreck in the three. Keep digging. Keep coming. Dude. There is a car in the wall behind them. Here they come to the checkered flag. You got it, man. 
and Earnhardt is going to drive a number three car to victory lane at Daytona again. Dale Earnhardt Jr. wins. Wow, but damn. Good job, guys. Three wide in turn three, one car way up high. They're going to make it. And the leader at the white flag is Newman. White flag, nice and smooth. Hello, Newman. Three wide, deep in the pack. Next flag. That's the race. Gordon got a pretty decent run getting Clear into turn two. one. Didn't get off turn two. Quite as good. Half a lap to go. Clear by three. Nice and smooth at three. Ryan Newman looking for his first checkered flag since the 2008 Daytona 500. Jeff Gordon coming. Gordon mounts a charge. Looks to the inside. Slides up off the corner. Hello, Newman. Newman. It's Newman at the line. Thank you, Alan, and back to Green Flag Racing. Joey Logano down into turn number one. Whoa, look out, contact. We're gonna try and go three, four wide again. Somehow we're making it through so far. Oh, oh no, we didn't. Further up. Three, four. That's all Geyer. Oh my, look at this. Tony Reigns as it just stacks oh, up there. We got cars stacked Harvick's on top of here. cars. Dude. See Brendan gone there. That penalty so costly to Harvick, he wouldn't have been back in that mess. Not sure he got anything. He may have gotten stopped there. He just didn't have anywhere to go. It's not a very wide part of the racetrack. Six car, a Billy Johnson is involved. Brendan gone is involved. That's what's left of Allgaier's number 12. He talked the whole front end off of Allgaier. The 16, look at this, the 16 also, Colin Brown. Both of them, two of Rouse's cars in this crash. Four Man. cars lost in Iowa, and now two cars here this weekend. Good Lord, what happened? The 23 of Alex Kennedy also involved. Boris said his car's up in the air as well. If we don't have enough problems with all the stuff on the track here, the number of these guys are going to be driving off and trying to go around Fired the track. Up, drive off of them. With oil and things leaking out of their car, so we could have quite a mess the entire way around. Well, and Justin can't go Man, anywhere now because he can't see. You see all the fluid behind his car, so you definitely got stuff on the track there. Probably the best thing he could do is just stop. Yeah, the radiator's destroyed. I mean, it's just... Man, look at Leffler's car. The whole right rear quarter. And this is going to take a little while to, to get cleaned up. Our second caution of the day. All right, let's go back and see if we can sort this out. We thought the, the trouble was going to be further back, but here it is. Here's Leffler. You can see that's where it starts there with he in the 16 car. Leffler hits hard. Then back out, gets the 99 car involved. Then nowhere to go for a lot of cars here. Yeah. This didn't is see, where it gets big. Didn't yeah. see Trevor Bain in this mess. Look at Nelson PK. And we do have a red flag situation now. Another look. I'm sorry, you know, Jason Leffler there got himself out there, and you, you just can't expect to come back on the racetrack. There's other cars there that have no idea that, that you're still up to speed, and you know, that's just a mistake on his part trying to get himself back in line there. On board with Justin Allgaier. Let's listen in. Inside. Still there. Still there. One inside. Inside. There you go. I believe we just killed it here. Yeah, uh, I think so. you nailed it on the head. See, what we had here is Leffler got out there, and the 16 car, who was clear down there, he was coming back out and getting himself ready. He had no idea that Leffler was going to be coming back. Just a lot of people trying to go for the same spot. Check a tip of the hat. He got through that mess and Here's watch Harvick. Heavy left track, right front. Oh. Back. Oh. Yeah, wow. What a job, Harvick. That did. was two cars that came in after Harvick was there and he stopped and. It was like a, a big Lego pile that fell down and we didn't get touched. 